today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful piece of 3D-esque artwork which involves some nails and some yarn and uh, it's pretty easy to make, you just have to pick an image and hammer in some nails and then tie the yarn around and then you have your artwork. What I've created is more a tribute to the sequel of Finding Nemo which is Finding Dory and I can't wait to see it! And uh, this is my tribute, a string art of her in this piece of board with some painted corals in the background and um, I think it turned out pretty good. You don't have to make it as artsy as I have with the corals in the background. You could just pick a beautiful piece of wood and just hammer in the nails and tie in the yarn. The wood itself will be beautiful to look at as well. And if you want to see some more DIYs in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're ready, let's just get started. As I mentioned in the beginning, you don't have to paint your wooden board if you don't want to, but mine looked pretty boring, so I had to paint it to make it look more interesting. Now take a stencil and you can either print it out or draw it from a screen, as I did, and I used two pieces of paper because my board was so big and I had to use some printer tape down the middle. Now I'm just cutting the excess off because I only need the drawing of Dory. This will also make it easier for you to move it around on your board and find a perfect place for it. Now when you find the perfect spot, take some painter's tape and then just tape it down. Now it's time to hammer in the nails, so take one by one and hammer them in according to the lines. And then try to leave a half to a whole centimeter gap between them. And make sure all your nails have the same height when hammering them in. And then continue on hammering the nails in until all the lines are fully covered. Now when you're done with your hammer and nail, remove the painter's tape. Now we need to remove the paper from the nails, so gently remove it by pulling it upwards. And it's okay if the paper rips or tears a little bit, because you don't really need it anymore. Now there might be some smaller pieces of paper on the nails, so take a tweezer and just remove them. Now take a piece of yarn in the wanted color and then tie a knot and then tie the knot around one of the nails. And pull really hard so the knot and the yarn won't go anywhere when you work with it. Then take your yarn and then just tie it around all the nails. You can either do it in a randomly fashion or you can make it look more artsy by putting yarn in between the opposite nails. When you're done with the section you're working on, cut the yarn while holding it tight and then make a knot and then tie the knot around the last nail you were at. Then cut some of the excess yarn off, not too much because then it will unravel and then take a tweezer and then just try to hide it in between all of the other yarns. And then you just continue on tying knots and then connecting nails with the yarn until everything is done and beautifully looking. And don't forget to hide the ends of the yarn. And that's it! Easy to make and so beautiful! I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for like, I really appreciate it. And if you recreate this artwork, let me know on the social media down below because I would love to see it. And if you want to see the upcoming videos here on this channel, you need to subscribe and be a part of our lovely DIY family here at the blue tube box. So subscribe and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!